so in this video we are going to see how we can use draft functionality in a bap restful application programming model so for that we need to go to our behavior definition and uh, we need to maintain draft related coding here so what exactly the draft table will do is uh, it will store the intermediate changes for example if user starts some changes onto the record and he backs out then those intermediate changes which are not yet saved will be saved into this draft table and uh, if a draft entry is available in this table then that entry will be displayed onto the ui otherwise the entry will be taken from the, our main table our persistent table this one okay so let's start so very first thing which we need to do is we need to tell the behavior definition to use the draft functionality so for that we write with draft so as soon as we write with draft here the system expect a draft table and uh, some more small changes so let's create a draft table here so for that we use draft table and then copy the name rp dr okay and uh, now we also need to maintain one e tag this is the same e tag which we used in our uh, gateway services what it does is it takes a field name which it always checks with the current value and the previous value changes so it needs one field so we have added this field here now to create the draft table it is fairly simple so as soon as you add this draft table and a name you see an option here when you click on this you see create draft table this for entity this okay so just double click on this and your draft table will be created so no need to manually add the fields and all those things now one thing is generic description it is taking value text so the system is saying is not permitted this data element is not permitted so what we will do instead is we will copy one of the existing and uh, let's put it 60 okay so how i got this 60 is value underscore text has a length of 60 that's why i'm just using a character field here with 60 so let's activate so now our draft table is added and uh, we have activated the object as well so our object is now activated and uh, now let's open the service binding just refresh once and uh, double click click on go and uh, let's click on one of the record we got the record and click on edit so now let's add the first name as a draft draft name and uh, draft surname okay so here you are seeing updated the draft is updated now okay so whatever these details are available in the draft is saved in our draft table so let's see our draft table so our draft table is dr and uh, open with data preview so you see one record is added here and this same record will not be available in our main table here where is main table ar so this is our main table and if we open this you will not see that record the draft name here okay 
so it means our draft functionality is working and now again go back and click on back button so you will be getting this pop-up which have the option save keep draft and discard draft so let's keep the draft here and click on ok so this is our draft record and this is identified with this link which says the draft so now when you click on this it it shows you the last change and time here okay now click on this and you will again see the draft name and now if you click on save so your data is now saved into the main persistent table here and if you see here the draft link is also gone now let's check our draft table here so we were having this entries so close others and uh, we have the draft table let's close it and uh, reopen so now the entry is gone and your entry will now be available in your main table so if you go here data preview and here you go so you see the draft name and draft surname this is what we have saved in the draft okay so this is how the draft functionality can be implemented in a map restful application programming model and uh, that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you